and welcome back to the zero hour you know the nation's uh, attention was rocked a couple weeks ago by that planned parenthood video that heavily added video which appeared to suggest that planned parenthood was selling uh, baby parts when in fact what it was doing was complying with the law uh voted uh in favorably upon by a number of democrats including mitch mcconnell a law which stated that uh, tissue could be used for research. Now, this selectively edited video made it look like a for-profit proposition. It upset a lot of people. I understand the upset. I understand the distress. It is a medical issues are painful to talk about, painful to think about. Um, but if we can save lives, that is something to consider as well. Now, the point of what I want to talk to you about now, though, however, is a new report from the Associated Press uh, investigating the group that made that uh, heavily edited video. Uh, the group calls itself the Center for Medical Progress. Now, according to the AP review of the group, uh, there is little to support, and I'm quoting the AP, little to support the lofty sound of the title. Its addresses are postal drops in Sacramento and Irvine, California. It employs no scientists or physicians. The people named as its top officers, says the AP, are longtime anti-abortion activists with a history of generating headlines, and it is also facing legal and regulatory challenges. There is also someone involved in this group who got involved in what I would describe as um, strange activity. One of them was uh, the chief financial officer, was arrested in 1991 for disrupting a church service. Another one was arrested for willful cruelty to her 12-year-old son and to a number of animals on her property. The Center for Medical Progress apparently is not a center. It is not medical, and it certainly doesn't support progress. I'm Richard R.J. Escal, and this is The Zero Hour. 